Okay, so I'm 11 weeks and four days pregnant today and I just feel so freaking terrible. I've just been feeling sick constantly. Constantly sick, constantly throwing up. Threw up early hours this morning, threw up again this morning. Obviously after I woke up and now I feel like I want to throw up again. This pregnancy I've been throwing up the most ready to be done with this pregnancy already man i'm just i just can't this friggin first trimester is just terrible i hate it i don't want no more children after this no more no more no i'm done Okay guys, so I literally just um, got back from delivering, um, well not delivering, but posting out you guys' um, orders for the Here We Grow Hair Growth Oil. And I'm just sitting in my car and it's so freaking hot. I don't even know why I'm wearing long sleeve. I guess, well, I didn't check the weather. But anyway guys, I'm a little bit nervous, right? I'm gonna tell you why. I can't even close the door because it's so hot. But let me just close the door to be on the safe side. And I'll uh, put the window down. Oh, this feels good. So it's June 15th, 2020, and I am a little nervous because my monthly cycle started today. Yay! <laughs> but I am kind of scared that I may be pregnant. I know that makes absolutely no sense because if you are having your monthly cycle then that means you shouldn't be right but I'm gonna explain to you guys a little bit more but let me just get home in the coolness of my home god damn because it is really hot out here so when I get home I will explain a little bit more okay let's go <laughs> huh. so why do i think that is even possible especially that i had just started my cycle by the way my cycle is over <laughs> a whole week has passed and i didn't even record the rest of what i wanted to because obviously life happens and you just yeah go with the the flow right all right so the reason why I've said that now is because for those who have never had children before, um, this is how it works. When you go to the doctor, when you find out that you are pregnant, they always ask you when was the, um, the start of your last monthly cycle, right? And then from that moment, they calculate your due date for um, well, your estimated um, due date, right? And that will be your time frame in which you are expected to give birth. But they always give you an extra two weeks after, so you can go up to 42 weeks. And that is because, you know, they are also taking out the possibility that you may have been pregnant during the first two weeks where they, where they counted in your monthly cycle. It's just a weird way how they calculate it. But anyway, with my last three children, <laughs> my last three children, my monthly cycle was between June 14th and June 16th. Yes, 
and I think with that I just get really like when it comes around this time of year um, you know I just feel like oh my god what's going on I am having a monthly cycle but not because I'm having a monthly cycle it doesn't mean that I'm not pregnant right so this year my cycle came June 15th so clearly in my mind I'm like oh my god I may be pregnant and this baby is going to be born March 18th now I do not want to be pregnant I am not trying to be pregnant right now and it's so funny because even with um, if you check out my video where I was speaking about you know when I found I was pregnant with Leah I was like yes me and my husband we were very careful as much as we thought we were careful because you know we did protect ourselves <laughs> it's so weird saying this but anyway that doesn't mean um, things can't happen things can't break etc here comes baby number four one second look who's joined the chat <laughs> hey yeah. Yeah. yeah yeah so that doesn't mean things yeah. can't happen right so with that um yeah, yeah with that <laughs> baby girl chill with that said you know even though yeah, me and my husband, we came to a conclusion that, Jake, Leah, leave it alone, please, baby. Me and my husband came to a, an agreement that when it comes to the month of June, summertime, we're going to just abstain, right? And even though we are abstaining, that's not to say what happened in the month prior may not, you know, be like, hey, guys, dun, 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 because that's what happened in the previous years. <laughs> all right so i literally just finished completed um, my deep conditioning treatment <laughs> but i really wanted to come on here to say one thing i have noticed with um doing the deep conditioning treatment with um my loose natural hair in comparison to my locks is that look at the bag on my head it's literally like you know kind of like shrunk to my head but when i was when i used to do this with my locks it would seem as though well this definitely didn't happen right and now when i touch my head it literally feels hot but with my locks sometimes it just barely feel warm like when i touch my scalp but i think that's because you know with the locks just blocking the um, the heat from going directly to my scalp so if anybody have locks and they are doing any type of deep conditioning treatment where they're using like heat definitely i would suggest is getting a proper hooded dryer because this little blow up thing that i wear um use ain't doing it but it's actually doing something for me right now so now i'm going to start including this in my two weekly deep conditioning um treatment i may i'm actually considering starting to you know do it every week but i'm not sure if i really can commit to that because whoo wash days are crazy but anyway let's get right back into what i'm talking about in today's video <laughs> now this is the part that is a little bit tricky for me now and that is the fact that I have been feeling sick yes I have been feeling quite nauseous and I'm just thinking like why why am i feeling like this right like you know i the funny thing is when i was younger i used to get really sick when my monthly cycle would start but since being an adult that has never happened to me so now you know i'm starting to have these nauseous feeling like pregnancy type symptoms i'm just like oh my god so to put my mind at ease, 
I am going to have to secretly <laughs> go and buy a test and try and figure this out because you know I don't want to tell my husband because I know his reaction always like oh you're not pregnant why are you always da -da 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 -da? you know <laughs> you're always just thinking like oh my god Keisha why are you saying things like this and I'm just like <laughs> Do you think I want this to be happening? Like, no, I am the one carrying the, the baby, if there is one, and I don't want there to be any, by the way. But you know, it's, it's, it's just a worrying thing. So, the next thing I'm about to do is go buy me a test. So that's what we're about to go and do right now. Let's go. <laughs> hello guys <laughs> okay so um okay so i literally just got done recording a video um which will be up in a couple of weeks and um i just wanted to come on here and talk with you all about my pregnancy test results <laughs> what did it say <laughs> okay so i am happy to say it's negative <laughs> yes i really am happy that it's negative let me show you it says negative Yeah, so I'm just very happy to know that the test came back negative and um, I know it's a little bit like of a, a weird one because you know there are so many people out there who want to have children and cannot have children and you know they would love to be in a situation where they can just have children etc but I am just happy for my situation right now because it's not that's not something I want right now and there's so many reasons as to why I do not want to be pregnant right now but the most um, pressing one right now is this current pandemic that we are living in like I don't even know you know how I would be how I would cope mentally so for everyone who's currently um, pregnant and about to have birth or just found out they're pregnant congratulations to you um, I hope it's not as stressful but if it is or if it isn't please definitely let me know how your journey is in this current you know climate world climate that we're living in um, but for me I think it would be quite stressful but yeah that's one main reason why i do not want to be pregnant at this particular time in my life and there are so many other reasons as i've mentioned um i don't know if you guys want me to go into that in this video i don't think you guys care about that you just wanted to find out the results which is i am not pregnant <laughs> but it's interesting as to you know why i thought i was pregnant despite having my monthly cycle back in june oh my god um so let me tell you right i was still experiencing pregnancy symptoms like no joke like i literally thought i was pregnant so the reason why i thought i was pregnant like there's a multitude of reasons first and foremost the first reason is you know usually around this time of year I am finding out that I'm expecting another child you know um, my last three children they were born they were conceived I believe yes they were conceived more than likely around the same exact time and like I've explained before you know my monthly cycle was like couple days you know apart with my three children my last three children you know so I had a cycle in those prior years in the month of june around the 14th 15th and 16th of the month so um even though i had a cycle 
I still found out that I was expecting. So my mind started to think, oh my God, it's that time of year, am I pregnant? And my body, you know, cause I was talking to my sister about it and she's like, Keisha, your body have like muscle memory. So more than likely, this is why you're experiencing all of these things. Obviously after I told her what was going on, you know, whatever. So I was like, that is so true because like the symptoms I was having, it was as if I was pregnant. Like my body's like, girl, you're pregnant. I'm like, no. And um, so basically I was feeling sick. I was feeling sick. And when I was pregnant with my children, like the type of sickness that I was feeling, like when I feel sick, I kind of feel it like here in my chest like it's it's such a weird thing because even when i would explain to my husband like oh you know i could feel it in my chest here he's like that makes no sense <laughs> but with me i would always feel it like up here and i just kept feeling sick there's certain things i would eat and i'm like oh i don't like this 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 makes me feel like i want to throw up um so I, I didn't throw up but i had that feeling of wanting to throw up right so that made me think I was pregnant. And also, I'm just looking at some notes that I did um, write. And um, also, I was going to the toilet consistently. I'm like, why am I consistently and constantly? <laughs> I was going to the toilet and I was like, what the hell is going on? Why am I going to the toilet all the time? No, please, 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 no. Trust me guys, I was literally scared. Even when I went to do the test, I was like, no, God, please, I do not want to see two lines. I do not want to see two lines. Please let it be one. <laughs> so um, yeah, that was another um, symptom or sign that you could be pregnant. Because you know, those are early signs of pregnancy, feeling sick and going to the toilet constantly. Because with my first son, I remember when I, I didn't even know I was pregnant. I was around one of my friends and I was telling her like, yeah, I keep needing the toilet. She had just had her son like a couple months prior, right? And she was like, yeah, I think you might be pregnant. I'm like, girl, don't come try, you know, wash your pregnancy mouth over here on me and then I go end up being pregnant. But I didn't know that, you know, going to the toilet constantly was um, a sign of early pregnancy. Um, and then obviously I found out I was pregnant with my oldest son at that time, but yeah, so going to the toilet all the time was definitely another um, symptom that made me think, God, am I pregnant right now? And oh my God, the next thing that made me think I was pregnant is that I kept going to sleep. I was tired all the time. I was tired, I just wanted to sleep. And I remember one of my friends was saying, Keisha, maybe your iron levels are low. Well, I wasn't really paying attention to that because my mind really was stuck on you're pregnant right now. <laughs> and also I was telling my husband as well, I'm like, oh, I'm so, so tired and blah, blah, blah. And he was like, maybe your iron levels are low. And that's when I'm like, hmm, maybe my iron levels are low. Because as well, like I was getting cold all the time. Like, um, and I know they say when your iron levels are low, you can feel cold all the time. And now, obviously now that I've taken the test and it says I'm not pregnant, I'm like, okay, well maybe my iron levels are low. Maybe that's why I'm you know, tired all the time and going to the toilet because I always feel cold and is making me go to the toilet, right? But like I said, before this test, I was just thinking I'm pregnant because these are the symptoms I had experienced in all four previous pregnancies and it's happening around the time where I usually find out I am pregnant. <laughs> and let me see, let me see, let me see. And oh my God, what I also was experiencing was lower tummy um, pains. Ooh, guys. <laughs> you could not tell me I was not pregnant before I took this pregnancy test. My pains, I had some pains in my stomach and it was down in my uterus area as well. And I'm like, Lord God, no, please don't. And then you know what I started thinking when I was experiencing all of this, because I took the test a week after my, um, my cycle had finished. Um, because I was like, okay, maybe, maybe, um, what if I am pregnant with, twins because <laughs> i'm like no these symptoms are just like strong and it's like yes it was happening just before my period and also after my period so maybe i'm having twins because these symptoms are so strong <laughs> 
Um, so yeah, I was just like, Lord God, please no, no. Tummy pain, toilet, tired, feeling like I'm gonna throw up. Yeah, I'm pregnant, no. <laughs> and the next thing was a heightened sense of smell, which is another sign of early pregnancy. Another sign of early pregnancy? Another, yeah early pregnancy sign whatever symptoms whatever right I could smell everything I was like oh do you smell that do you smell this do you smell that and I remember the other day I was in the car with my, my husband I was like I can smell the beach I can smell seawater I can smell this and he's like no that's your mind playing tricks and you're like no can you not smell it it's so strong but we were in the car we were in the car windows up was the windows up no, I think it was a nice hot day that day. But I was like, I can smell the sea. I can smell the ocean. Oh my God. I was like, no, 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 no. <laughs> you know, so those were some of the signs that I experienced during my pregnancy, my previous pregnancies. So when I started experiencing them now, I was like, I have to be pregnant there's absolutely no way that I'm not pregnant but like I mentioned when I spoke with my sister and I told her about these things she's like please bear in mind that your body have a muscle memory and obviously with this happening around this time of year for three years in a row I think my body was just like saying okay this usually happens around this time so let's do it all over again but no, my body had me all confused, like, Ugh. and this time around, and I know I said that I wasn't going to tell my husband about it. I was going to try and do it by myself and find out. But I was like, yo, all these signs, like, no, 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 I am pregnant and he needs to know right now. <laughs> But once again, to everybody who is currently expecting or is about to give birth, congratulations and motherhood is absolutely phenomenal. It's fantastic. But yes, there are some moments. Okay, let's keep it real. Motherhood is beautiful, just like life. You know, it comes with, comes with its ups and downs. And um, it is a beautiful thing, but it can be a little bit of a challenge you're gonna learn a lot about yourself as well as your brand new baby so yeah that's all I have to say for today and um, I hope you guys enjoyed today's video and until next time I will be right back here with another update bye